Blockchain adoption is happening at an insane parabolic rate. It's the fastest adopted technology in all recorded human history, with about the same number of users as the internet in 1998, and it's growing twice as fast. And even Wells Fargo says that crypto is like the internet in the late 90s, and it's about to undergo a hyper adoption phase. So if this is even close to true, then that means there's a massive opportunity on the table. Because back in those days, so many people who launched internet companies made absolutely insane amounts of money. And as a developer, you have special skills that help you take advantage of this opportunity because you can actually create your own crypto projects that can capitalize on this trend. And so in this video, I want to talk about several different million dollar crypto ideas that you can realistically build where you don't need some like massive team or VC funding. So I'm going to talk about this as a blockchain developer who works with technology on a daily basis and also somebody who's done this myself. All right. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about some million dollar crypto ideas that you can realistically build. So I want to be very clear what I'm talking about in this video. I'm not saying there's any guarantee that you're just going to launch your own app and overnight you're going to be a millionaire. But there's a huge opportunity to do this in this space. And what I mean by realistically that you can build is that you don't need some massive team. You don't need millions of dollars of VC funding. These could realistically be done by one person or maybe a little bit of collaboration with another person, maybe three people. And that you don't need an insane amount of capital to do this, right? Because if you're trying to make a bunch of money in crypto and you're trying to just buy it and hope that it goes up, you don't have any really control over that and whether that's actually going to happen or not. But if you actually create something, you have way more influence over this. And the downside risk is very minimal because because well, the worst thing you're going to do is lose some time. And even then, probably not because you're going to have a high value technical skill once you've gone through this process. And the other thing I'll say about this list is that these apps are good for beginners to build. You know, why is that? Because if you've never started a business before, you probably don't want to just come up with some idea that's you know, not going to work. A lot of stuff fails. So you don't want to reinvent the wheel. You want to pick something that somebody else has already done, proving that business model, because that's going to increase the likelihood that it's actually going to be successful. All right. So the first project that I think is the absolute easiest for beginners to build is your own NFT project. Okay. So I've made a lot of videos about this recently. We're talking about a lot of stuff besides NFTs in this video. Don't worry if you've got NFT fatigue. I put it at the top of the list because truly it's the easiest. And we're just scratching the surface for what we can do with NFTs, because this is clearly a million dollar opportunity. And when we saw a total year old girl who sold her uh, NFT collection for almost $4 million. So what are some ideas on how you could try this? Well, there's two really basic uh, sort of templates for what you could do with NFTs. You're either going to be an artist who is like selling art that is valuable, or you're probably going to be creating some sort of community that's surrounded by the NFTs or the artwork themselves. So let's start off with the artist, okay? So if you are an artist, you could do this completely by yourself. If you're not an artist, you could collaborate with one, where basically that's what people are buying when they buy the NFT. They're buying the artist, they're buying the creator. And let's say you have, you know, a collection of a thousand unique artworks or a hundred, whatever it is, you could auction off these collections and make money that way. And those could instantly come in the form of revenue and people auction it off. You could that, that could be enough revenue to make this a million dollar opportunity or the appreciation of those artworks over time, if you still own some, could equate to that as well. And that's exactly what uh, this girl did here. The other major opportunity is to create an NFT collection that actually has a community behind it and do a big NFT drop, okay? That's a really common format here with some of the really popular NFTs like Board Ape Yacht Club, where you go to a minting event, you advertise the date, and then you can make money on that particular minting event itself. And you can also make money with the appreciation of those NFTs over time if you personally hold some, okay? Now, the key behind this is not just creating the NFT and then just hoping that it, it works long term. It's actually creating a roadmap for what you're going to do with that project in the future, and then actually create a community around it. That's what they did like with Board Ape Yacht Club and other similar projects. Cause they're not, the other the other example is, you know, if you're buying the art artist artwork, you're really buying into that artist, you're buying into that creator. But with this business model, you know, you're buying into the community. That's the real value beyond just the digital picture on the blockchain itself. All right, so the next major opportunity is to just take an existing application and fork it and move it over to an emerging blockchain ecosystem. All right, so... What do I mean by that? So we have all these different, uh, you know, blockchains out there, like the Ethereum mainnet, right? You have other EVM compatible chains, like, uh, I mean, this list is absolutely crazy long, right? Like, like Arbitrum, the layer two scaling solution, we got Polygon, we got Matic, we got so many different chains. And all these chains need applications so that, you know, users can actually do things on them. They need to be able to do things like trade tokens, 
you know, do DeFi, buy NFTs, all that type of stuff. And, you know, when these blockchains first launched, they're just blank slates. So you could try to go reinvent the wheel and go in and build all these applications from scratch, or you could just take, you know, existing applications and fork them and move them over there. Maybe you change a few things about them, but you can effectively help bootstrap an ecosystem. So what could you do? How could you do this? You can go to any website like DeFiPulse.com and just look at the existing blockchain applications out there and then look at the list of all the EVM compatible chains out there and just see like, hey, does this um, you know ecosystem have a lending app yet, right? Can you do flash loans in the ecosystem? Can you trade tokens yet, right? Um, and even if you can, there's always gonna be room for more competitors to enter into this space. And you wanna find you know what's least crowded and what's the easiest thing to do to provide value. Now, some caveats on this for sure. Um, just be, the, you know, the, the, the cool thing about this is that uh, all these things are EVM compatible, which means the code, if it's written in Solidity, can easily be forked and just put on these different applications with minimal changes, if any. Now, but you need to be careful. You know, the good thing is a lot of these things are open source, so you can just see the code, but you have to be careful because just because something open source doesn't mean that you can just copy it, all right, and actually launch your own application. Um, you need to make sure that the license agreement says that you can do that, so you can just go to their GitHub. You'll find the license agreement. It's going to state very clearly if you can, you know, reproduce that code for commercial purposes. And if it does, then that is something that you can do. But if you're going to do this, you know, that's just the smart contracts. That's the back end. Those are the building blocks of the decentralized applications. Uh, in order to make it a unique product, though, um, the, the, what you're what you're going to do is actually create some sort of unique interface as a developer create a new uh, name for the project. All right, you can be very open and upfront with your user base that it's a fork of whatever. You don't have to hide that. They're pretty used to that in the DeFi space for sure. But that's where you can add your own original element to it is creating a new user interface, a new theme, and a new brand. And it, that's the value to the users on a brand new ecosystem. All right, so the next uh, application that you could build is some sort of DeFi application or a blockchain application that actually plugs into other blockchain applications or DeFi apps, crypto apps, whatever, and charges fees on top of that. Okay. So uh, basically, you're just taking existing applications on the blockchain and then, you know, doing some sort of arbitrage to upcharge, you know, what that is. Now, it's not as simple as just like, you're going to write a new interface for Uniswap and then charge people to use Uniswap more. There's no value in that to end user, like maybe you could trick some people into using it. It's kind of dumb. Um, but what you can do is actually provide value and give people a reason to use your app, maybe over Uniswap. So what would an example of this be? So, um, one example is like a DEX aggregator. Okay. So this is like what one inch exchange does. Um, you can go to one inch and it will get you the best price for your cryptocurrency swap across multiple different decentralized exchanges. All right. So that's the value of using one inch instead of these individual DEXs is it can split up your trades to get you the best liquidity and price across, you know, multiple DEXs. And it doesn't necessarily even just use one at a time. Sometimes it splits it in between multiple DEXs if that's how you can get the best price, okay? So you could create this as a developer without having to do all the really, really hard work of like bootstrapping an application, getting all liquidity into it. You could just plug into all these other ecosystems and then charge something that it makes money by having fees and provides that value to the end user. So very similarly, you could do this with other applications in DeFi. Uh, you do, we have the, uh, stuff like this with a uh, Zapper Finance, okay? You could do something that finds you the best yield farming returns that aggregates yield across those types of things. There's all kinds of opportunities where you can just plug into existing applications out there and then create something that provides value to the end user where you can charge a fee. All right, so the next application, or sorry, the next crypto startup idea that you can build that you know could make a lot of money um, is going to be a staking business of some kind, okay? So what is this? Well, you can look at a website right here, like stakingrewards.com. You can see all these different blockchains out there uh, where that run proof of stake in some way or have some sort of uh, node that generates passive income, all right? And so um, sometimes this happens at the layer one blockchain level, like on Ethereum for Ethereum 2.0, you can run an ETH2 node and earn you know passive income for doing that. Sometimes you can do it on protocols that have validators like Chainlink. Uh, you could do it with like ThorChain nodes, for example. There's lots of different um, decentralized protocols that, that have nodes that make money in some way. And that's where the opportunity is because you have a huge edge as a developer that most people don't. You know, some people want to go stake their cryptocurrency on a website and then, you know, basically let somebody else do it and they can earn the passive income that way. Some protocols have the ability to delegate your stake to uh, someone who runs a node. So there's, there's there's different ways you can vault. So I'll break those down. Number one is you can just run the node itself. All right. And then you can make the money. All right. You could run the node. 
and then let somebody else stake with you and you can charge a fee for that. You can run the node on, you know, uh, any of these decentralized protocols and then scale out to multiple nodes and let that those returns come out over time. And then finally, I mean, these nodes are a business in and of themselves. And if this got profitable enough, you could just sell it to somebody else and then cash out on it because you've taken the time to do this, uh, especially with some uh, ecosystems where it requires a significant amount of reputation for the node. Uh, maybe like Chainlink, for example, where like you want to have a really reliable data provider and you want to see that that has a ton of history behind it, right? If you've been doing that for, you know, years and you have a ton of, you know, clout and there's no reason that you couldn't sell that node for a lot of money. And, you know, some other ideas on top of this would be even like running a node as a service where you could create, you know, an application that lets people spin up a node uh, so they don't have to go through all the technical headaches of doing that. And that one's probably gonna be a little more challenging and complicated, but if you got good enough at this, then that's definitely something you could pursue here as well. All right, so the last thing I wanna say about this is how do these opportunities actually become, you know, million dollar opportunities, okay? So, um, you know, I'm gonna talk about this from actual personal experience. So, you know, the easiest way is that you could just make a million dollars in profit with one of these opportunities in a really short amount of time. I mean, that's exactly what we saw here with the 12 year old girl, the artist who sold, you know, $4 million of NFTs. But don't forget that, you know, businesses don't have to be, you know, businesses don't have to make a million dollars per year in order to be worth a million dollars and therefore sold to somebody else for a million dollars. It's really common for new startups to be worth, you know, multiples of what their annual revenue is because this is a brand new opportunity that hardly anybody knows how the space works. And there's a ton of upside profit potential here. And that's what a lot of these startups are. That's the value in a lot of them is their future potential. And so if you bootstrap a startup, it doesn't have to be anywhere close to a million dollars in revenue per year to be worth that much and to actually be sold to somebody else. And that's a way that you could turn this into a million dollar opportunity is get something up, get it running, prove that it works and then sell it to somebody else. All right. So this is my top million dollar crypto startup ideas that you can realistically build. And you know what I mean by that is basically you don't need a bunch of money to do this. You don't need a massive development team to do this. Many of these ideas can be accomplished by one person, maybe, you know, just a collaboration, but between one, two, three people tops. So that's all I got for today. Um, as always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you want to take action on this, you know, get your hands dirty, actually start learning the skills that you need to accomplish this, then definitely check out my free videos on my YouTube homepage. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. They're going to teach you the fundamentals of blockchain development so you can jump on these opportunities. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You'd have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.